Okay, so in this lecture, we're going to look at calculate an yeast cell again and, and use it to determine if a reaction is spontaneous or not. So if we take this reaction, 10, 4 plus, plus iron 3 plus to make 10, 2 plus and iron 3 plus, is that reaction spontaneous as wrote or not? So it's an oxidation reduction reaction, right? How do you know that? Because oxidation states are changing. So going from 10, 4 to 10, 2 and going from iron 3 to iron uh, that should be iron 2 to iron 3. So iron 2 to iron 3. So 10 is gaining electrons. So we need to write the two half reactions. So 10, 4 plus plus 2 electrons would make 10, 2 plus. And so is that an oxidation or a reduction? That's a reduction, right? And then the other one would be um, iron, so Fe2 plus, plus any, um, no, no, minus any electron. So let's go into iron 3. So it must be given away an electron. So that's what you would find. Well, you wouldn't find this in the, because that's an oxidation, right? So that's not what you would find in appendix. Uh, what you would find in the appendix instead is the reduction potential. All right, so this is this is the actual reaction, two reactions going on. Uh, but you don't find both of those in the appendix. You find the top one because you only find the reduction potentials in the in the appendix. Okay, so if you look in the appendix um, for these values. So 10, 4 plus 2 electrons to make 10, 2. So E is equal to 0.15. So you're gaining electrons, so that's the cathode uh, reaction. And then this would be the anode reaction. But that's an oxidation, so that's not in the book. But what you find in the appendix is this one. So iron 3 plus an electron, um, E is 0 0.77. So then the oxidation potential would, would be the op opposite sign, negative 0 0.77. Okay, so if you want to calculate E0, again, two ways you can do that. You can take the E cathode minus E anode. Um, let's see. So if we did that, then we'll be using, we would be using the two numbers from there, because one's cathode, one's anode. So 0 0.15 minus, oh, did I am doing this right? No, that's wrong. Okay, so this would be the E anode reaction. Um, so negative six uh, point six two, or the other formula, E zero cell, is on E reduction plus E oxidation. That's where you would use the two equations as he originally wrote as half reactions uh, because one's a reduction, one's an oxidation. <clears throat> so, but you get the same answer. So again, this part of the chapter can be confusing. You just have to, when you're, the math is simple, but you have to make sure you're, you're adding or subtracting write the right numbers okay so um e zero cell is less than zero which means it's a non-spontaneous reaction so you can see this from reduction potentials as well um 
So let's see, 10 plus two electrons. So this reaction is non-spontaneous forward, so this reaction would be spontaneous in the reverse direction. Okay, so let's see. So if we look at these reduction potentials, so <clears throat> so 10 gaining two electrons. Versus iron two gaining, um, iron three gaining an electron. Okay, so which one wants the electron more? Right, so iron three. So if we just compare those two numbers. Right, so iron three wants the electron more um, than iron, than 10, four does. So that would mean this is, so if this picks up an electron to go that way, versus this picking up two electrons to go that way. So this wants the, so iron three wants the electrons more. Right, so it, it gets reduced in the process, so it's an oxidizing agent. So iron three basically is a better oxidizing agent than 10,4 is. So it wants electrons more than 10,4 does, so this reaction would work spontaneously in the reverse direction than in the forward direction. Um, I mean, that's over analysis for this problem, but just to help you making sure you're thinking about all of this different terminology, right? You know, if you just want to know if this reaction is spontaneous or not, all you got to do is calculate E. If it's positive, it's spontaneous. If it's negative, it's not spontaneous. <clears throat> okay, so let's take one more example. So problem 1969 from the textbook. So it's given to you in this form, uh, the shorthand notation for the cell. So let's do a few things. Let's write of uh, the chemical equation. And then is it is the reaction spontaneous or not? <clears throat> okay, so the chemical equation, so chromium solid, so zero oxidation state, is going to become chromium three plus. So that's going to be a product of the reaction. And then Hg2 two, 2 plus is going to become Hg, Hg uh, liquid, mercury liquid. So that would be a product. So that would be the chemical equation. So then write the two half reactions. So one half reaction would be chromium going to chromium 3. So chromium 0 solid goes to chromium three plus, so that must give away electrons. So chromium would be um, oxidized in this reaction, so that's an oxidation potential. And then mercury goes to mercury zero, mercury two. So it must gain then two electrons. So that's a reduction potential. And so again, you're going to find this one in the back of the book in the appendix because that's a reduction potential. So if you looked up that in the textbook, it's 0 0.80. And you want the one that you would look up in the textbook for the other one would be the opposite of this. So for that reaction, he is negative 0 0.74, which means this one he is 0 0.74. Okay, so if we calculate E0 cell,
Um, so if we if we want to use this equation, then we use the original um, two half reactions. So 0 0.80 would be the reduction plus the 0 0.74 would be the oxidation, so 1.54. So that's greater than zero, so this is spontaneous, so we're done, right? We, we have the answer. But if you wanted to use the other equation to calculate this, E0 cell equals E cathode minus E anode, then you use um, you use the original reduction equation from from the half reactions, and then minus, and then you use the other reduction. So when you use this equation, use both reduction potentials. So 0.8 minus a negative 0.74. And, of course, you get the same answer, 1.54. So E0 is greater than 0, so this is a non-spontaneous reaction in the forward direction. So this would be spontaneous. Or no, this is a spontaneous reaction in the forward direction. So it would be non-spontaneous in the reverse direction.